Just finishing up a phone call. Give me a second, and I'll be right with you. Oh, please, take your time. We should call first. Oh, not to worry. Okay. Thank you. Please. <laughs> I, I don't believe it. You knew exactly where this place was. I mean, not one wrong turn. As if you'd just come here yesterday. Are you kidding me? How could I possibly forget the place where you became my wife? <laughs> Oof. It's timeless, this place. So are you. I look at you and I still see that little girl I danced with at our high school prom. <laughs> I look at you and I, I see the miracle I dreamed about, having you back again. You ready to do this, Mrs. Hubbard? Oh, I'm as nervous as I was back then. Well, almost. It's all right. I got your back. You just hold on to me, baby. All right? Okay. Now, what can I do for you two? Uh, well, first of all, I'm Jesse Hubbard. Oh, hello. This is my wife, Angela. Hi. Nice to meet you both. Yes, hello. hello. I'm Betty Styles. Styles? That was the name of the man that married us back then. Uh, you his daughter? Yes. <laughs> well, well, we've come to ask the Justice of the Peace if he would do us the honors of renewing our vows. Ah. Uh, is he here? Does he still perform ceremonies? My father passed away six years ago. Oh, I, I'm so sorry. I'm afraid uh, you're going to have to go someplace else if you want to renew your vows. Well, it was a lovely thought, at least. I'm so sorry. Dad adored the work he did. I know he would have loved to have married you two again. <laughs> well, at least the place is still here. That's one thing. I mean, things disappear so quickly these days. It's, well, you know what? We'll be out of your way. Betty, who is it? Oh, Mom. This is Mr. and Mrs. Hubbard. They were once. Well, they're your fathers and my young loves. Oh, you yes, too? Mrs. Stiles. No. Oh, it's so wonderful to see you again. Well, we thought we'd come back and have our vows renewed, but your daughter told us that your husband passed a little while ago. We're so sorry. Fred had a wonderful life, doing what he loved to do. If you'd like to say your vows, I'd love to hear them. Of course, it wouldn't be official, but in the eyes of the Lord. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think you'd like that very much. I just want to change my clothes. <laughs> we'll be right back. Mother insists on changing clothes. <laughs> it's all right. You do realize that we are going to have to do this again one day, legally? I mean, in the eyes of the law, we're not husband and wife anymore. I mean, as far as the law is concerned, I'm not even alive. <laughs> Who cares about the law? Hmm? It's just words, pieces of paper. Here, right now, we have God. What should we and do? Each other. Just say what's in your heart. Okay. You first. <laughs> <laughs> say what's in my heart. What's in my heart is a miracle. And how do I describe a miracle? I, I still can't believe that I'm looking in your eyes again. It, you know, when I first said that I would be your wife, I didn't think our love could be any stronger. Oh, what a foolish girl I was. <laughs> because it grew not only in strength, but in depth, until it touched the very core of my soul. And when I thought that, that you were gone forever, it was the memory of your love that kept me alive. And when my heart was sad, it was 
the memory of your smile. It made it light up again. And when you came back to me, when I finally accepted that you were really here again, I knew that our love would never be the same. Because as strong as it was in this spot all those years ago, it is something else entirely today. Because I'm sure now that our love is, is deathless. And our love can't be more perfect than that. So long. I thought of our love as both a salvation and a prison. Salvation because that's what kept me going, and a prison because it kept me from you. Knowing the danger you'd been. Knowing the danger that you would be in if I had been selfish enough to try to find you again. Looking back, I realized it wasn't a prison at all. It was my shelter, my safety. Oh, my God. Angela, I love you so much more now than I did back then. <laughs> it's, it's amazing. If I feel this way now, I can't even imagine what the next 20 years and beyond is going to feel like. I will tell you this. I'm going to treasure every single minute of it. Forever. Forever, baby. With this ring, I'd be with and with all my worldly goods, I thee endow. And with all my, my what? Worldly goods, I thee endow. With all my worldly goods, I thee endow. By the power vested in me by the lords of this state, I now pronounce you man and wife. You may kiss the bride. Can't wait to get you out of here. Remember the post-wedding activity the last time? <laughs> mm. Ooh. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, no. Thank you. You are both so very special and inspiring. It gives us all some hope. Here you are. Hot oh. off the printer. <laughs> Amazing, this new technology, isn't it? Look at us. You have to keep up with the times. <sighs> Always keep moving forward, my husband used to say. Oh, yes, thank you. You have no idea what this has meant to us. God has obviously blessed you both. Ah, cute. Well, I can't wait to get you home. Our wedding night times 25 years. Well, you're gonna have to wait just a little longer. There are so many surprises yet to come. Hi. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 